Say that life is an assignment. It's a documentation that you have purpose in life or else you wouldn't be here. Your salvation is God's business. Your health is God's business. Your prosperity is God's business. Everything concerning your life is his business. It's not personal, it's business. Everything about you is about business. Ooh. Do you not know God tells us over in Deuteronomy 8 and 18, and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get what? It is he who gives you the power to do what? It is he who gives you the power to get what? I never saw God sign one check. I never saw him apply for a credit card or a car. He gave you the ability to create what? For what purpose? So that he may establish his covenant. Somebody say, it's his business. See, your life is his business. And the devil wants to make sure your life never, never shows up on the scale of this earth to produce change in the earth. The Bible says, over in, 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 in Luke 19 and 13, out of the old King James Version, Luke 19 and 13, that Jesus, that the Bible, Jesus is giving an example here. And this is an example of our lives. And he called his 10 servants and delivered unto them 10 pounds. Now 10 pounds represents money. And he said, occupy till I come. Here's an example. He gave you all of your ability, put you on this planet, gave you limitless. I mean, you have so much ability. He placed you here and he says, occupy till I come. Here is your life. Bring it back to me better than what I gave it. So he says, occupy till I come. Occupy, the word means in the Hebrew or the Greek, business, transact. Transact, do business, exchange. Exchange is a process of life. Man, when I got a revelation of that, it changed everything about my life. And I understood it. That nothing goes on without exchange. Even Jesus said, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What would he give in exchange? That means that you have something to exchange. That's why the devil is after you. That's why the devil wants to destroy you. That's why he wants you to sin. That's why he wants you to think you're losing your mind. Because there's something in you that he knows that is priceless and valuable and yet you have not discovered or identified or recognized the divine deposits that God made in you. And whether you know it or realize it or not, you're making it an exchange every day of your life. Every time you breathe in and exhale, you're making an exchange. God wants to do business through you. Here's another thing that I've learned. God will never do something for you that you won't let him do through you. God wants to do work through you as a tool on this planet so that he can negate every single lie that the devil has told you. And we're seeing it today. Your salvation may benefit you in the long run, but it also accomplishes great purposes in the earth. So don't take it personally when you're going through something because God is the one developing you. You're not developing him.